All right, all right, all righty, all right. What is going on, everybody? My name is Pete, but you probably already knew that. But in case you didn't, you guys are watching the one and only Paid to Drive and Paid to Drive Vlogs, day number 1,183 coming at you. Hope you are doing well out there, my friends. Hope all is well. Seriously. If you drive for apps like Grubhub, DoorDash, Postmates, Uber Eats, or any of these others, you should definitely be subscribed to this channel with all notifications turned on. If the subscribe button is red, it means you haven't subscribed yet. So it's free. Give it a quick tap right now. What are you waiting for? Hit that like button and turn on the notification bell to the right so you don't miss any future uploads. So, have you guys heard about this Grubhub new no-tip policy? You heard about this? It's messed up, man. It's messed up. I got an email from Jeff. Everybody say thank you to Jeff. Seriously, say thank you to Jeff in the comments and in the chat for bringing this up. He says, Pete, see attached Grubhub order screen, and I will be reading it to you. In California, Grubhub has set the default tip to zero and removed the 10%, 15%, 20%, and the 25% tip option and changed it to $1, $2, $3, and $4. And let me just pause for a second. I ordered from DoorDash the other day for dinner for my girlfriend and I. And I noticed that as a customer on DoorDash, it's the same thing. It's not a percentage. It's just $1, $2, $3, $4 or custom. This also, and he says, this also implies to the customer that if they do decide to tip, that a dollar to $4 is an acceptable amount. Me personally, I feel that $5 and up is appropriate for a tip especially for what we do they also added a driver's benefits charge of a dollar fifty to each order but this dollar fifty does not go to the driver it goes to grubhub to compensate what grubhub now has to pay because of california's prop 22 that passed this is totally misleading and drivers are actually making less than before prop 22 or uh, prop 20 Boycott Grubhub until they go back to the recommended default of 15 to 20 percent tip for each delivery or else if they get away with this for sure DoorDash and Uber will follow suit. This is not me saying it. This is him saying it. I am not telling you to boycott Grubhub, but I can understand his frustration here. So there is a link I will be providing that he provided and if uh, for L.A. Times talking about this so he shows an order screen for a jack's restaurant and bar um impossible burgers gyros impossible burger vegetarian total comes out to 228 dollars the item subtotal is a dollar uh, a dollar 185 dollars and 40 cents delivery fee is 249 which goes to the driver tax and fees which is obviously the taxes Plus Grubhub's fees is thirty-eight dollars and seventy-four cents. Driver benefits is a dollar fifty. So why is it delivery fee and driver benefits? It, you know, it's, I don't know. And then the total is two hundred and twenty-eight dollars. And then I love how it says leave an optional tip on top of driver benefits, but supposedly the dollar fifty doesn't go to the driver. I don't know. I always thought it did, but evidently he's saying it does. It, it, it doesn't. And then again, the total is two twenty eight thirteen, and then one dollar, two dollar, three dollar, four dollar in custom. I'm literally reading verbatim what it says. So, what do we think about this? Do I think it's unfair? Yeah, it's it's crap because we depend on the tips. Everybody, comment that right now in the chat or in the comments. We depend on the tips. Hashtag, just pay the drivers. That's what I've been saying for a long time now. I don't understand why why these companies so badly just want the driver to struggle. I don't get it. It's like, don't you want your workers, your partners to be happy with you? Why would you want to be in a constant turmoil where people just want to sue you all the time? Like, you know, like, why would you always want to be caught up in lawsuits, class actions for all this nonsense? You know, people saying boycott Grubhub, you know, like why, why 
I'm not telling you to boycott Grubhub, you know. The fact of the matter is this. If they just treated the drivers properly and fairly, we wouldn't be in this debacle here. Just saying. It's very simple stuff. So, everybody watching in the chat, everybody, you know, on the team replay in the comments, tell me. What do you think about California implementing this, like, no tip policy? Like, basically saying, like, you can tip, but we're not really encouraging it. What are your thoughts on that? How does that make you feel? Because because for me, I don't live in California, but I feel for Californians or California drivers. I really do. Because that's some, some low-down stuff, in my opinion. And here's the thing, man. Grubhub was my bread and butter ever since the beginning. I've always been loyal to them. But when they're out of line, it needs to be it needs to be mentioned, you know, and this is out of line. It's ridiculous, in my opinion. But I do want to take this time on a side note to thank all of our supporters of this channel on Patreon.com slash pay to drive. If you guys would like shout outs and to support the channel, click that link down below in the description. Click show more or click the link in the pin top comment. And you can get shout outs like this. Let me know if you hear your name called. Leave a comment saying, I heard my name. BBA Master Yoda Nottingham, Brian Pomeroy, Heidi Barnes, Kurt Paul, Tulsa Todd, William Boudreaux, Alan G. Van Horn, Drew Hanor, Frank Haviland, Jason Casta, Justin Case, Katie Coppin, Sarah Keston, Scott Freisner, Sherry Cassidy, Stephen Neely, Fernando Carranza, Lulu Laura, Jenny Thomas, John Bonacci, uh, Kimberly Thomas, Matt Epperson, Nick G, Terrence Pacheco, and Terry DeLong. Seriously, thank all of you for supporting the channel. Really appreciate it. And uh, if, like I said, if you want to sign up, link is down below. But if you don't feel like signing up on there, at least please make sure you are using the Get Upside Gas app. It's free for your smartphone. Link is in the description down below. All you do is download it for free, pump your gas, print out your receipt, take a picture of your receipt with your smartphone, and uh, within 48 hours or so, you'll get anywhere from 15 cents to 45 cents a gallon back, which is pretty fantastic. And if a friend or family member signs up using your code, you'll get paid every time they pump gas. It's called Get Upside. Link is in the description down below. Please make sure you download it today if you don't have it. Subscribe down below with all notifications on. Hit that like button. Let's get 100 likes. And of course, um, check out paytodrivestore.com for all your t-shirts and hoodies. Links down below. Get yourself something nice. That's it for me, guys. If you made it to the end of this, comment end 301, end 301. Seriously, I'll give you a second to do that. And get that money, get that honey. Keep hustling, keep bustling. And we'll see you guys next time right here on Pay to Drive and Pay to Drive Vlogs. All right, everybody, peace, love, dope. Now get the hell out of here.